Hello, this is a problem from your homework from section 2.2, or a problem similar to that. Let's do this. Identify the class width, the class midpoints, the class boundaries for a given frequency distribution. So here's our frequency distribution and uh, the class width. Well, one way to get to the class width is to take a look at two consecutive lower class limits or any two consecutive upper class limits and subtract uh, largest minus the smallest. So if we do that, uh, let's take the first one, 65.0 minus 61.0, we'll get 4. Uh, regardless of which two consecutive upper or lower class limits you choose, you should get the same result. Uh, let's take this one, 80.4 or 84.9 minus 80.9, this is also 4. So your class width is going to be 4. Now let's find the class midpoint. There is going to be as many class midpoint as classes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 classes. So we should expect to list five, uh, 10 class midpoints. And the way to find the class midpoint is uh, if we draw this on a number line, we have a 61 to 64. Point nine. The class midpoint is going to be the number right in the middle. And so that number right in the middle is essentially the average between these two. So we can find uh, the average 64.9 plus 61. And then if we divide that by 2, uh, we should get the results. Now, I do have a calculator and I, I want to start getting you used to dealing with a calculator and so if we punch this into our calculator uh, notice that this is a fraction with an addition or subtraction in the numerator so when we calculate this we can type 64.9 plus 61 and what we need to do is we need to calculate that first and then divide it by 2 if we divide it by 2 right away uh, then it's not going to give you the correct answer. It's going to give you a 64.9 plus and in the calculation it would 61 divided by 2 which is not correct. Anyways, let's divide this by 2 so I can just hit divide by 2 and we get 62.95 so this number here 62.95 is going to be our first class midpoint. Our, it's our class midpoint for the first one. So um, I'll write that in, in a minute, but uh, we're going to want 10 of them. Uh, well, you can calculate the class midpoint for the second one as well. And uh, let's, let me just show you how that's done. I'll do this one in one step with uh, using the parentheses. So I want to add these two numbers. So, but first, I want to put it in parentheses. That is 65.0 plus 68.9 and then this time I'll put the parentheses around and I'll say divide by 2 so we can get the same result as these two commands with this one command if you put the parentheses so let's hit equals and the next number is 66.95 so 66.95 now I'm going to show you a little trick to this. Uh, instead of calculating, doing uh, 10 different average calculations, what we can do is uh, we can take this number, uh, the first class midpoint, and then we can get to the next class midpoint by adding the width to it. Uh, in fact, we're just adding 4 to it. So I'm going to type this in, make it look a little neater. And so your class midpoints are going to be 62.95. Uh, now the next one we got was 66.95. And 
if you notice we got 66.95 by adding 4 to this or that would be another way to do this so if we can just continue to add 4 we can get all the class midpoints so we need 10 of them so we got 66 plus 4 is 70 point nine five add four seventy four point nine five uh... seventy eight point nine five add four we get eighty two point nine five eighty six point nine five and ninety point nine five now remember that we're looking for ten of them and I'm looking at 90.95, so I'm looking at this class, uh, second to the la or third to the last class, so I have two more to go. Uh, and that would be 92.95, and then the last one is 96.95. So these are our class midpoints. Now let's take a look at the class boundaries. For the class boundaries, uh, what we need to do is we kind of need a separator between the two classes. So I'm going to blow this up a little bit and I'm going to write it over here. And I'm going to have a 61.0 to 64.9. And right next to this, very close, uh, is 65.0 and then the next number is 68.9 so the boundary that we're looking for if we get this in a different color the boundary that we're looking for are these numbers that kind of put a boundary around each of the classes so the first class going from 61 to 64.9 we'll have a boundary over here. Now the trick about the boundary is that it can't be the number it can't be the number that sets the the maximum or minimum. It has to be a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. And now when we look at the next class, we need the same boundary, same number boundary over here and then another boundary over here. So what we want to do is essentially look for the number between 64 point nine and sixty five point zero so we can do the average again uh, but we can see that this is really close to each other and the number that we would be looking for would be sixty four point nine five so this is going to be the boundary over here now this is going to be the second boundary our first one is a little bit to the left of 61.0 and now we notice that the distance between the last number here 64.9 and our boundary is 64.95 so that's a 0 0.05 difference so what we want to do is we want to go from 61.0 and we want to subtract out a 0 0.05 and that would give us a 60.95 so that is going to actually be our first boundary this is our second boundary and then we'll have the boundaries coming here that would be an increment of 0 0.05 after the next upper limit Okay, so in other words, we have a boundary over here of 60.95, and then we're going to have a boundary over here at 64.95, and that's going to be the boundary between this number and this number, those these two numbers over here. And then our next boundary is over here, and we're going to add another 0.95 to it. So from 68, I mean, we're going to add another 0.05 for it to, next to it. So we got 68.9, add another 0 0.05, so that's 68.95. And so we can carry on with this calculation from here to get our um, to get the rest of our boundaries. So our last boundary is going to be uh, 100.95, so we'll just keep that in mind. So we have 10 classes we should have 11 boundaries because we have a boundary 
before each of the classes and then one more at the very end. So let's take a look at those boundaries and we'll make a list of them. So our boundaries start with 60.95 and then we'll take a look at each of the upper classes and just add one more or 0 0.05 to it. So we got 64.95 and then we got 68. Oops. 68.95 and then 72.95 and then 76 0.95 etc. We get to our last one that is 100.95 and that would be our class boundaries. Alright okay so I hope this will help with uh, some of your homework problems. Good luck!